Uh, section uh, 8.4, number 16. This is an integral where we have a uh, fraction and the highest power of x in the numerator is larger than the highest power of x in the denominator. In this case, what we can do is uh, we can do long division. So we're going to take the denominator, which is x squared minus x minus 6, and we're going to divide into the numerator, which is x cubed minus, I'm going to include a 0x squared uh, <clears throat> minus 4x minus 10. I added the 0x squared so that I have all the powers uh, in sequence there. Okay, when I do this long division, you take x squared and you see how many x's do I need to create x cubed, and the answer is I need one of them. And I match up this x to the first power over the linear term in the uh, <clears throat> numerator there. Okay, uh, multiply back, I get x cubed uh, minus x squared, and this you can see this is why I added that 0x squared term so that it would line up. x times negative 6 is negative 6x, and then I'm going to subtract, remember you're subtracting this whole term. So I have x cubed minus x cubed is 0. 0 minus a negative x squared is positive x squared. Negative 4 minus a negative 6 is positive 2x minus 10. And now we're going to repeat the process. Um, what do I need to, uh, get to change this x squared into this? I need a 1. Okay. When I divide this in, it's a 1. Uh, 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times negative x is negative x. 1 times negative 6 is negative 6. And then I'm going to subtract this whole term. 0 here. Uh, 2x minus negative x gives me 3x. Negative 10 minus a negative 6 gives me negative 4. So at this stage, we're going to try to divide this into this but it's, uh, the power is now lower than the power here. So when we divide into this term here, what we write is uh, this term divided by that term. And that's the, uh, <clears throat> the quantity that you get through the long division. So I can rewrite this integral here as the integral from 0 to 1 of x plus 1 plus 3x minus 4 over x squared minus x minus 6. And some of this we can do right away. We can integrate this x immediately to get x squared over 2. We can immediately integrate the 1, which gives me x. And then that leaves me still the integral of 3x minus 4 over x squared minus x minus 6. This is what I still have to integrate. So let's focus on that integral now. The integral of 3x minus 4 over x squared minus x minus 6. What I'm going to do is I'm going to factor the, the denominator here. That's equal to 3x minus 4 over uh, x minus 3, x plus 2. And what I'm hoping to do is to rewrite this as an integral of some number, some constant, divided by x over 3, plus some other constant, divided by x plus 2. And if I can do that, then this integral is easy to do. The antiderivative of this term will simply be a ln x minus 3. The antiderivative of this term will simply be b ln x plus 2. So the task at hand now is to find a and b. So let's do that. <clears throat> So what we have here to find A and B equate the 
Let's equate this numerator here, 3x minus 4, with the what I would get as a numerator over here if I were to recombine these fractions. So what I mean by that is if I were to recombine these fractions, they would have a common denominator of this. In the process of combining the two fractions, I would multiply this x plus 2 times a. So this would be part of the numerator, a x plus 2. And then b times the other term, x minus 3. So these would be the two numerators of those fractions, and I need them to be equal. Now what I'm going to do to find a and b is I'm going to pick some values for x, and I'm going to pick them very carefully. I'm going to pick x equal to negative 2, and the reason for doing that is that it'll make this term 0, and that'll enable me to find out what b is. So if you watch as follows, I'll have 3 times negative 2 minus 4 equals a times negative 2 plus 2 plus b times negative 2 minus 3. And that gives me, here this is negative 10, here's 0, and I get uh, negative 5b, so that tells me that uh, b is equal to 2. Okay, so we have b. Let's get a. To get a, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick x to be the other convenient value. If I pick x equal, equal to 3, then this term will disappear. I'll get a 5 here, and I'll get um, a 5 over here. So you, then I'll be able to solve for a. So if you watch, it's pick, pick x equal to 3. I get um, 3 times 3 minus 4 equals a times 3 plus 2 plus b times 3 minus 3. That gives me um, 5 equals 5a. a equals 1. Okay, so I found a and b, so it turns out that this here is uh, ln x minus 3 plus 2 ln x plus 2. Okay, so that's the solution to this integral here. So my final answer is going to be uh, x squared over 2 plus x plus the answer that I got from this integral, which is right here, ln of x minus 3 plus 2 ln x plus 2 uh, plus a constant. And that's the final answer. And the, the book uh, may put it in this form. They may say x squared over 2 plus x uh, plus um, uh, ln of x minus 3 times x plus 2 squared. And I put it like that, and that's just using the law of logarithms where you multiply. So here's your answer.